Oh, so today I'm gonna like I'm planning to make a capacitor pack or what do you call it cap pack. So they're usually um, bigger packs for for speedrunners, especially if it's on 6s or 8s. So what do cap packs do? Do they just um, absorb the um, excess current or excess energy from, uh, um, let's say, they absorb the excess current uh, drawn by the motor and ESE uh, from the battery. So too much draw or sudden draw um, can kill the battery or can even make it like bloat or some point burn or explode. So what the capacitor does is it stores here so that when the motor or let's say when the ESC demands for um, a higher uh, current or let's say energy. So it would just draw some energy from the capacitor instead directly from the batteries. So to make short, uh, the capacitor saves the battery's life. Not not the battery's capacity, but the battery's uh, lifespan. You know, it makes the battery um, live longer and more uses. So and it also smoothens the run, especially when you're doing speed runs. That it won't just like shut down uh, right away because something happened. So it smoothens the run also. So I will make this long. Um, this one here. Is a capacitor I ordered from the AliExpress. They're cheap, you know, um, around seven or eight euro, or let's say 10, 10 US dollars. And there's 20 of them in this pack. I'll just provide the link in the description. And also this circuit board here, so the smallest I could get. There's like plenty of them, I think, 10 of them in here, but I won't be using the rest. I'll just be using one board. So it might be, um, yeah, it's cool and it's able to um, accommodate 10 capacitors of this size. So, what capacitor is this? So, we have this thing that we call, um, so firstly, we'll see, it's 470 U UF, that means micro, U means micro, and F means farad or farad. So, 470 microfarad is the unit of capacity of these capacitors or let's say the capacitance and it's for 50 volts so when you're running an 8s it's better to use 50 volts this 8s is around let's say 30 to 34 volts so that's it so it's better to have um, a bit of allowance there so 470 and 50 volts i'll be using 20 of this and the whole total around let's say almost 10k 10k microfarad oh and that's not really bad so i'll just we'll just find it out after i put them all in there so I, i've researched and asked some hobbyists uh, whether I, I could just use lower capacitance or let's say 5000 microfarad and they said it's better as high as you can, so maybe around more than 8,000 microfarad, especially when you're running um, 8S. So that's it, I'll just find it out. So initially, uh, we have here the, um, the, you know, the formed product, so it hasn't been soldered yet. So just show you the arrangement so it can accommodate 20, yeah, 20 capacitors. And when you flip it, so we can see the arrangement there. So I'll just explain to you which ones, which one's supposed to be where. Oh, so this side here is the positive. This, um, this side here is the negative, and this is positive, or basically negative. So everything that goes to that direction is positive. And everything that points towards this direction is negative. So it's negative, 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 okay? It's easy as that, and you solder it in place and connect them through wires in a, let's say, parallel connection, not a series, okay? 
parallel i repeat parallel so i made here a diagram so just to show the um which side is negative positive so it's easier to understand so all the sides here uh negative there's a negative connect here this is the negative one and here negative negative so notice the the negative and positive um wires uh do not touch and on the other hand these are the positive wires and this is the positive and also the positive here and the positive together this is the positive wire here we have so that's the um, polarity there so just to simplify this image here which is really um, difficult to understand especially if not, it's just shown in the video so there we can see the negative okay so just to make it easier to you know understand that's a diagram